this 1522 prospect dev. The house just needs a pressure washer on the outside and a lot of landscaping and cutting. I would just tear off this green carpet and paint the concrete. It's concrete. That's filthy. Going inside. You know, this floor is pretty rough as well. Let's see, it looks like it's on parquet floor and on top of old hardwood. And then looking over here, you have underlayment as well. Some plywood underlayment. So I would just refinish this floor. It's the cheapest way to go about doing it. Clean it up, put a coat of poly on it, and patch up those two spots. We gotta do something about this wall here. Can make something match the wood paneling over here. And just do the same thing on this wall and along this wall to make it match. The wallpaper, let it be. Paint the ceiling. I'm gonna rip off the wallpaper if needed, but it's good enough. A couple crack tiles. Do this wall as well to match that wall. They got one crack, structural crack running down the whole tile. You could tell there's a slope. Everything is everything is sinking down right over here from underneath. Tile's fine in here. Leave that wallpaper good enough. Paint the ceiling. I got a couple. All the closet doors are all tracked. Need them re put on. Ceiling, the kitchen sink. I need a new cabinet for here, this corner. And also over here. They, be cheaper just get a new one make a match put new drop ceiling tiles in here to make it look new all right going upstairs tear out this carpet put new carpet in here This is all that self-adhesive tiles all through up the second floor. Painted over the wallpaper. This is seams. Crazy color. I would paint the whole room, ceiling, everything. Definitely need new floors up here. Go crazy painting everything. Cover the doors. Take the doors off. Cover the trim work. Cover the handrails. Paint all this up here. couple different options with the flooring. Laminate or hardwood. A nice rug in the bathroom. I could take it off, stick it in yours. Wallpaper over here, take that off, skin coat this whole wall, recoat the paint, put a medicine cabinet in. Bathroom, I'll take out all this wallpaper. Put just put tile up there, call it a day. Cover this up with tile. So you got um, from old cat damage. Scratch using a scratch post. Take this carpet out of here. Maybe just put the same tiles as going in on top of the shower on the floor. Don't know, we have to get the water turned down as well. So I can check the systems. Here's the crazy color room. I definitely repaint all this. Again, the floors in here as well. The whole second floor falls. Skim coat the walls, paint the walls. You can see uh, the roof on the house doesn't look bad, just on the front porch is pretty bad. And I'm definitely gonna look into doing this. It's only a matter of time, if not already happened, of water getting in, rotting out the, the porch roof. See some new shingles up there. You had a couple missing on the main roof, but nothing major. And uh, let's go look at the basement. Okay. All right, 
this is pretty bad down in here. It's really damp. You need humidifiers going all the time. We got a major mold problem. Mold, mold, mold. This panel is all so damp, it's all warped. There's a nice selling point down here to rent. Take all this paneling off. See the extent of the mold. But it doesn't look that bad. There's no mold over here. It's just located on the bottom, on the exterior of the paneling. But in just the case it is in the behind, we gotta remediate that, get rid of that. The ceiling tiles are even all like whooped. I would just check up there, make sure it's not damp. Take that down, hold this panels down, repaint it, take this rug out, and put down that up product. Because there's a concrete pad underneath, I would go ahead and uh, stick a nice concrete paint on top of it. You don't have to worry about no dampness no more. No, so there's a concrete pad right there. A nice dead bird. The services look good. I'll get my mechanic to take a look at it. My plumber. And also my electrician to go take a look at the service. It just seems like there's not a lot of uh, circuits for this whole house. Um, check all the wire. Make sure everything's all good as well. And in the back of the house. Why is there so many birds down here? Bird flu. Back there, you just got a jungle going on back there. It needs to be cut down. And that's the gist of it. I get back over here with my electricity and check everything out.